The head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, provides some information on the Halo Infinite's release date, how it seems like Call of Duty might be actually holding up the information, and some very interesting information of the theme of Season 1 for Halo Infinite. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So we have some interesting Halo Infinite news for you guys I wanted to share for you all. Because I feel that I know the reason why we do not have a release date for Halo Infinite because I know a lot of people have concerns about that as during the E3 presentation, almost every Xbox game that we saw got a release date. I mean, even Starfield got a release date for next year, but Halo Infinite's releasing this year and we don't have a release date? What's going on with that? And Joseph Staten himself gives us a little bit of information on what to expect for season one of Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So recently on the Dropped Frames podcast, Phil Spencer was brought on as a guest and they got a little bit of a topic talking about Halo Infinite. And I wanted to share this clip for you guys. It's still coming out this year. Can you shed any light on that? Like what is the, uh, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, you heard Joseph say in the talk track this holiday, uh, it, for us, we're, we know kind of our range in the, three, four week range. We don't have yet the exact day. There's some other things with some other game timing that we're trying to look at. Um, we'll have better clarity over the summer, but this isn't okay. a month's thing. This is just down to a, a few weeks. Um, and so we're like, okay, instead of picking this date and having to move it by a week, which at this point would feel like a fail, like we don't want to do that. Let's wait until we're really solid on what the date is. But the team's very committed to holiday. Um, we feel good about that. Uh, and uh, the way that Pierre and Joseph are, are running the team, I, I feel good about you know the confidence we have in both quality and getting the game done. Just, awesome, just great to be awesome. So some really good insight and the reason why we did not get a release date because I've been hearing a lot of concerns about that because every game, like I mentioned earlier, has been getting a release date for Xbox except for Halo Infinite. And that's because I think what's really holding up everything is what the release schedule for this fall looks like. We want to give Halo Infinite some proper breathing room so people can get excited about it and not get smushed in between all the other game releases this fall. Because we have some heavy hitting games coming out, out this fall. We have Far Cry 6 coming out on October 7th. The highly anticipated Back for Blood releasing on October 12th, one of the Infinite's biggest competitions Battlefield 2042 releasing on October 22nd, an Xbox Game Studio game Forza Horizon 5 releasing on November 9th, and Dying Light 2 coming out on December 7th. But the big juggernaut that's really kind of in the shadows lurking for the release date is Call of Duty. As we do know, a new Call of Duty game releases every year, and honestly no matter what game it is, as long as it has Call of Duty on it, it's going to sell. And we still haven't even had the reveal of the new Call of Duty game, which has been rumored to be called Call of Duty Vanguard, which is supposed to be a kind of like a World War II style shooter. And obviously you don't want to nestle it within the same week of Call of Duty because Halo Infinite will have to compete with sales for Call of Duty, which is a very tough thing to do for any game out there. And essentially what they're trying to do is avoid a Titanfall 2 experience with Halo Infinite. And what I mean by that is back in 2016, which seems so long ago, but this really did affect Titanfall 2's sales, which a lot of people hold that game in really high regards as the main Amazing multiplayer, amazing campaign, way better than the first game and really worth people's time to start playing. I played the campaign and it was amazing, but Timefall 2 kind of got lost within the mix of the release time schedule and I'll show you why. So during holiday fall 2016, we had Battlefield 5 released on October 21st, 2016. And then shortly after that, we had Call of Duty Infinite Warfare released on November 4th, but there was one game that released in between those two major releases, and that game was Titanfall 2 on October 28th. And many people attribute the bad sales and bad performance and almost the killing of the Titanfall franchise is because of that terrible release window between these two juggernaut games. And the last Call of Duty game, Call of Duty Cold War, released on November 13th, which would be two days before the 20th and anniversary of Halo, which everyone's kind of speculating a November 15th release date for Halo Infinite, which obviously if the new Call of Duty game releases around then, that's going to really eat into a lot of sales for Halo Infinite. And we had the reveal of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War on August 26th of 2020. And if that's the case, then I could totally understand why Xbox is a little hesitant to release a time. And if that's really the case, we can expect a November release again for a Call of Duty game. And for Halo Infinite, all signs point towards a November release. 
Series. Back when the new time frame of Fall 2021 was announced for Halo Infinite, Bonnie Ross did tweet this out saying, Fall of 2021, hmm, doesn't someone have an anniversary coming up? As I mentioned earlier, it would be the 20th anniversary of Halo's franchise and Xbox. And we do have these quotes from Master Chief, voice actor Steve Downs, and another act new actor that's gonna be part of Halo Infinite, Vernon Roberts, also pointing towards a November release time frame for Halo Infinite. Everything seems to be on track now for a November uh, release on Infinite. Boy, I, I know the understatement of the gaming community would be that I can't wait. It's going to be outstanding and I have been able to see some of the visuals uh, as they have been, you know, sort of updated and reconfigured and whatnot and it looks awesome. The pandemic and everything and then they, I think they had some leadership um, changes so now it's pushed till later november of this year and for the master chief collection all signs seem to kind of cool down on production on things for the mcc as season 10 as we do know from this development update is going to be the last season for mcc as they said they will determine more to come at when that day comes around and right now with the release of season seven two months later it would be in august being season eight about two months later in october we'll have season nine and then maybe like november december time frame we'll have season 10 for mcc so it looks like once this call of duty reveal happens for the next call of duty game most likely we'll get a release date when that happens and as soon as we get a better idea of what the competition is going to be looking like in around the late October, November time frame, then we'll see when Halo Infinite releases as well. And our second bit of news today, guys, we have our first glimpse of what the Battle Pass is going to be looking like for Halo Infinite Season 1. We finally have an idea of what to expect for customization. Within this Xbox Wire post, Joseph Stan goes into basically like what to expect for Halo Infinite and everything in between, which is going to be a great game, as we all know, because Halo Infinite looks amazing. But this one really important thing in particular I wanted to point out to you guys is what he says right here. A major focus for our team is the content will deliver after the game has shipped and work has already started on our first year of content and beyond. You saw some examples of that effort in our multiplayer trailer with tons of Spartan customization options that will be part of our very first season, Heroes of Reach, including a super sweet Yoroi Spartan, which is the samurai armor that we saw. And in case you were wondering, the Yoroi armor is free and you can unlock it by just playing events in season one. Now this reminds me a lot of the season that we had in Halo 5 called Memories of Reach. So I want to take a quick brief overview on exactly what that all covered. Essentially, you know, it brought in a new map, which is really cool. It brought back Infection, which is kind of a shame that wasn't there at launch. Uh, but then they brought in all these Halo Reach armor sets into Halo 5, which obviously I think they became some of the fan favorites within Halo 5's customization options. So I think we have to look forward to some Halo Reach armor sets, or at least armor cores. If you don't know, armor cores are essentially just the set of armor that you can have. As you can see right here, you've actually seen this guy a bunch. This is the Mark 7 Olympus armor core right here. But when you click over to another set of armor, you can see right here the armor core is the Mark V Reach armor set. So I think we're going to see a lot of Halo Reach influenced armor sets within the first battle pass for Halo Infinite, which is fantastic in my opinion because I absolutely love the armor sets and the art style that came with Halo Reach's armor sets. I absolutely love them. I love the new armor sets as well. But it's gonna be great to kind of have like the callback to these classic armor sets within the first time you're playing Halo Infinite as it is supposed to be a soft reboot of the Halo franchise, meaning that it'd be great to have some callbacks mixed in with your first initial experience. So some pretty interesting news drop, guys. Again, I don't expect to see a release date for Halo Infinite until we know more about the release time frame for Call of Duty, so Halo Infinite doesn't get Titanfall 2'd. And the first season being reached, I'm very excited about that as well. So if you've been on the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, or missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I've got a link to all my news and informational videos. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.